We have Karst, our engineering director. Hey, Karst. Hi, good afternoon. How's it going? I think. You good? good? Yes. What's your favorite improvement uh, in the last years in our lean journey? Well, actually, it's a quite a recent improvement. So, for instance, now I'm standing here to this rack. There's all parts. They just arrived. So, last week, um, we quickly had to order some parts for, uh, for some more deer work to do some testing. So, we ordered them last week, Tuesday. And already this afternoon, they all, well, they came in. So, we can order whatever we want. And we have now a fast lane uh, track in our factory. Uh, so, they can produce the order, well, whatever we want. Uh, it was in a couple of days and then ship it out to us. So we can actually start testing it. Uh, well, we can start building it in today and then start testing. So it's really a big improvement uh, by applying this lean philosophy. Uh, so we can quickly uh, make parts, continue testing and really well, make those changes. Because normally R&D is really about waiting a lot. Yeah, um, which is a waste, right? Which is a waste, yeah. waste, but now we can just have the parts produced quickly. Then we can continue with the developments and all the new ideas we have. We can start to test them and see if they work out. Um, of course, we don't apply the finishing yet, so we can get them quickly. But once the design is really uh, good to go out in the field, we can apply a nice finishing yeah. and we're good so, to go. So Lean can apply to engineering R&D as good as it can apply to uh, a normal production environment, but it can also apply to accounting, etc. So that's a really good uh, example, uh, Karst. Cool, awesome. Yeah. Right. So now we have this, but also in case we need to produce something quickly but less accurate, we have the 3D pins on the other side. Yeah. Uh, so also that really helps us to uh, to make our parts quickly uh, for testing purposes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Go on. Take care.